Hey Gary, uh, I wanted to make a video about uh, for all you college students or you high level high school students, for high level math high school students that uh, simply lost your calculator, got it stolen, or got ran over by a huge truck. So uh, if you if that case uh, happens to you, you guys can use these two programs to sort of replace it. I mean, it doesn't really show you the full capabilities of full powerful graphing calculator, but you know, it's better than nothing. Like, let's say you're at home and you need to do some homework and your graphing calculator just got hit by a semi-truck. And uh, so these two programs can help you out as Winplot and Graphing Calculator. These are both free. And I'll show you guys the download link uh, my description. All you have to do is press more info. You guys don't have to, you know, comment me and ask me how to download it. Okay. So Winplot, I'm going to show you guys this first. Uh, once you click on it, uh, you just, it gives you a little hint. So this is a program that's mainly used in my college campus. Uh, my uh, professors use this a lot to perform just to show you the students how to do things. So once you open it, there's only two options. There's window and help for the toolbars, whatever. So window, there's two-dimensional graphs, three-dimensional X, Y, and Z plane graphs. Guess, mapping, A, it's just, you know, Z plane, all the stuff. Planets, use defaults, help, just, you know, tutorials and stuff like that, how to use this program. So this is a really basic interface of how to use it. It's just the main purpose is just showing graphs. So uh, basically, uh, you can just file. As you can see, this is the XY graph, you know. So if I can save the graph, you know, save it as a .wp2 file, uh, print it, format it, select the printer. You can save it as a pr uh, uh, image, a bitmap image, and uh, you know, put it on MySpace pictures or something. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, and uh, you can password protect your stuff. And my campus, uh, they already have this program on all the campus computers. So if you uh, were to do work and you save it on the computer, you can password protect it. So no idiot can come in and just steal your work. So equations, this is the four basic uh, graphing equations that you can find on your TI-84 or just any TI, explicit, parametric, implicit, or polar. So I'm not going to teach you guys how to do math. You guys should know that yourself. This is all the hotkeys for F1, F2, F4. You guys can do points just like two, three on the whatever and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you uh, explicit. As you open it, it's uh, on sign X. So you just press OK. And this is just the, the sign of X, basically. This is the sign of a graph. Starts from 0, 2 pi. OK. So 0 to negative 2 pi and yeah, stuff like that. You guys can have uh, more graphs. So I'm going to press this uh, cosine X. And I press OK. So this is the cosine graph. It's in blue. You can change the color if you want. And it's all right here. You can select which one. You can, uh, like, let's say you're doing, uh, my teacher usually does this. Uh, he hides it. He hides the graph. This is back in trigonometry, old school stuff. He hides the graph and he tells you, how do you guys, how, how do you uh, draw this graph? And once you get it done, he gives you the answer. Like that. This is how you do it. So that's cool, you know, you can have the tangent graph, and um, you can have dots, you know, points. So, let's see, a point. I'm going to press uh, 3, uh, tab, 2, and press OK. You can also just make this a, a simple circle, you don't have to make a dot, stuff like that. And this is basically, a, you can also do animations, I really don't know how to do that, you guys can figure that out yourself in the, hop, in the help, change the fonts and colors and stuff like that be a 3D graph, save the graph, all that stuff, so I just press no, and that's basically Winplot. And once you um, exit out it automatically for some reason, saves your configuration uh, stuff inside the computer, inside wherever you have your program saved. So I'm just going to throw that in the trash. I'm going to show you guys how to download Winplot actually. It's really uh, weird when you download it. Uh, Winplot. Winplot download right here. So right here, uh, this basically this is the download link for the foreign language versions, and uh, this is the one you want to for English version. You want to follow the links for more information about the Windows version. Okay, you press this one, and uh, down here you want to click the first one, or you can click the second one. And uh, yeah, so you just click the first one. It's just the first version, the second version. I don't really really know, but you know they both work. So you just save the file, you know, the download stuff, and basically it. So the next one is Graphing Calculator. This is a, a lot more, you know, intuitive, and it's a lot more in-depth than Winplot. It actually acts as a real calculator. It has the, the basic, you know, outlook of a calculator. This is the basic interface of a calculator with the number pad and everything like that. This alt probably just means second. Yeah. For more options and stuff, that you just press in mean, medium, F, 
uh, uh, base, tangent, cosine, all stuff. So you just do basic math on this. Is just, it's just a lot more advanced than your Windows uh, calculator. 4 divided by 5 is what? It's uh, 0 0.8. Okay. So it has the 2D graph. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I was just screwing around with this earlier. So as you can see, I have a, a graph on here. Right here, I have the a cosine graph, the sine graph, and the tangent graph. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Right here, you just uh, add in any graph. It's just like uh, 2x caret to the power squared. That's going to be a parabola. So it's a parabola. See? And um, yeah, you can just add a whole bunch of different ones. You can also have a 3D x, y, and z plane graph. This is a lot more interesting than wind plot. So uh, tools, you can do equation solvers. I really never checked that out. You just write an equation, and hopefully... It, it, you do the initial guess. I think it's like three or something, and it'll give you the answer, which is pretty helpful in homework. So, uh, yeah, don't think that I'm a nerd. I just want to help you guys out. I really suck at math, to be honest, and I'm in calculus, which I'm afraid for my life right now. So all you do is just print out all this stuff, um, all the different equations, and it'll be cool. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can it's basically you can save it as an image too. You can print only 2D graphs, of course. You know how you can print 3D graphs it's a little hard, but you, I guess you can do that somewhere in different lifetime. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you can save the settings, uh, and this is basically it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll show you guys the download link. Please uh, comment me if you guys need any help downloading these these uh, programs. If you have any uh, suggestions or if you have any uh, questions for anything that deals with computers for the Windows because I'm not a Mac user, I don't know how to use a Mac. If you guys have any questions for Windows and stuff like that and uh, any program questions, uh, I'll help you out and I'll make a video about it. So uh, I, hope you got, I hope I helped you out and uh, have a great day.